Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life and Fair. I'm going to the road with the K, bro. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about now. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, J really got a big head once we started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They really ran my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work, and I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But for starters, they, uh, they'll put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions and lock their hills. Now maybe they thought this would be the best cover. In most <laughs> Most witnesses don't transfer five figure sums into a particular FIB bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdraws the same sum every month. Each day, more white middle aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident the shooting of a notorious stick up man. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. But take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm going to run the operation from the car, but you're in the store getting what we need. Here we are. something for the woman in my life. But one of them. Someone showed you. Fine, that was what it was, but you're not taking photographs. All I need is a shot of the alarm keypad. Come on, we need a shot of the alarm console. The keypad and we're done. What we got? A security camera and the alarm system. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See when the ventilation comes out. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So you keep up with your crew? No, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. I don't need to know they didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. I saw a ladder to climb up and see if we can get to the roof. Where did they bury him? They bury him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses to give me a shot of Angelico's roof units. Could be right above the store. Let's be 
Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told them to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcast through a remote server. Security guard on the door. You don't want to back bridge ass from the nose, is it? Good. The alarm system linked to the door lock. Anything else? Well, yeah, we're not even working. I see the cabinets in the center of the store. By the register, you might start there. The last cabinet was bulletproof. Means you can smash it easy enough, but still to be in the safe. So, we go in when it's open then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, we cut the rocks. That's how we can score. Yeah, Jim can't go in after hours, man. Those pencils are probably. Might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew, yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we can cut him. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. Good kid, Lester. You know what they say? It's your people. One of them at least. Uh -huh. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the fence? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. We can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've gotta find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's a uh, real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras, the length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bites. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro Freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run into the front door or try to play it smart? You gotta make a call on this. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay, select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Toe, now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns, now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Gus Moda, he's a pro, not much else to say. Hacker, back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. Harris, <laughs> good, feminine touch. This should be able to find any back doors they got. That look good to you? Are you sure? This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Great. I'll do some research on the pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes, huh. good, good.
As soon as we get this shit, as soon as we get paid, homie. As soon as we get incarcerated, more likely. Andy Nation, armor to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? All right, homie, get your shot, though. Last night, my Hey, you got cash? Oh, you flat, homie? I would think you was finger blade, no things that fat. Take this cheese, you broke ass bitch. What the fuck am I the only one buying this? Because we got sheets, homie. I shut the fuck up. Listen up, I wanna be crystal fucking clear. Nothing anybody got anything to do with us. Yeah, you know what? Uh, we got felonies and we ain't touching shit. I ain't even looking. Man, let's do this shit. Look, it's hot as hell up in here, homie. Get real shit, my nigga. Go buy this shit going to Mexico. Take that shit to the bank. Hell no, man. We got felonies. Ain't nobody doing this shit. We legit as a motherfucker on this right now, man. Just chill. Oh, two jazz, old child, motherfucker. You're supposed to get a flashlight before you book. Now, how the hell you work in a shot like this all day long without feeling the need to grab a gun just walk out the door and shoot somebody? I think you'll be a psych test to make sure people work with do shit like that. A psych test? Take us down to that one spot where the base has be taking their cans at. You know, on free until the
violence, and areas once thought immune to the scourge of organized crime. Reports say Latino street gang, Los Carlos Aztecas, have been shifting operations to outside of the city. That's true that the rural residents, many of whom are actually afraid of Mendoza.